dear students greetings for the day and a very warm welcome for this session today i'm going to discuss a couple of very interesting geometry problems with you asked in recent year in gate will not only look at the solution to the problem will also say a very very common sense way of getting down to the solution which is often ignored by the students also i will try to generalize the result broadly it will involve two three problems which are most frequently asked in lot of exams so these type of problems have found place in multitudes of um, exam in the aptitude arena let's directly start without wasting any further time so here is a question in front of us a square of side length 4 is given boundary of the shaded region is defined by one semicircle on the top this is a complete semicircle on the top and two circular arcs the area of the shaded region is dash in centimeter square these two are shaded region which are in fact quadrants arc means quadrants because this angle is 90 degree this is one fourth of a circle this is also one fourth of a circle and here there is this portion this portion so we have to add these four portion find out the shaded area now common sense is a highly uncommon virtue right so we'll look first of all at the very much logical way of getting down to the solution very very common sense approach even how a very elementary kid could have done the question and i will often use this statement common sense has absolutely not remain common and it had become a highly uncommon virtue as such but but let's see how we can easily arrive at this solution Mathematically, I will give you a complete solution. We'll generalize the result as well. Don't worry about it. Abhi hum yahan pe bahut asani se ise common sense ke tarike se dekh lete hain. Mathematics se main ise abhi explain karne wala hu. You need not to worry about it. Now here is a quadrant in front of us. I will say one quadrant is here. Then I have an another quadrant in front of me. So these two are the quadrants. Now if I move same quadrant over here and i paste them from this place if i move my coordinates and i paste them here what i'm going to do i'm going to get half the area of the square so what i will divide the area of the square into two parts this piece can be directly removed from here and this piece can be pasted over here and i'm putting a cross value here this this coordinate goes here and we are going to get this area exactly same this quadrant we are going to this this cross quadrant we are going to remove from here and we are going to get this same area out here i hope i have made the point and these areas were already with us a and a were already with us this is moved here pasted here this is moved here pasted here so bottom we have already removed what we are left with we are left with this complete area which is nothing but which is area of half the square area of the square is going to be 16 unit side of the square is you know four unit as per mentioned in in the question and half of that area will be equal to eight units how in a very simple common sense way we can solve it without even without even writing a single mathematical equation for the area or anything else these two coordinates are moved from here and they are directly pasted here this goes here this goes here and we are going to get this complete area which is half the area of any square for a square 16 by 2 that is equal to 8 now let us see how you guys will be more interested in mathematical approach so it's it's not even on the tougher side we know area of this particular quadrant radius of the quadrant is going to be two unit and it is one quarter of a circle so this this red area which which i'm going to shade here right a and same thing will be a so i will not be doing it here because both radius are two unit each so very simply we can say this area which is one fourth of pi into r square which is eventually equal to pi only this area is pi now how can i calculate this area i will be calling it as my blue area and both b are going to be same and finally the result is going to be 2a plus 2b we are we want to calculate the shaded area which is going to be nothing but it's going to be 2a plus to be 
So this B area is what? This is a strip which I will be using. This is our area B. How can I arrive at the B area? Very simple. We, we have a square. We have a square out here. And if from this square, this is a square. And if I remove a quadrant from here, we'll be left with this area. If from the square, I will draw a perfect square here. From this square of side 2 unit, the square of side 2 unit, if I remove the quadrant from here, see, this square is made up of two simple components. The square is in front of you. It is made up of square kis kis cheese se milke banai. Quadrant plus this remaining area. Quadrant plus this remaining area. I hope I am making an absolute sense. We want the blue area. We want the blue area. So square minus quadrant. So our area A is this and the blue area which we are going to look forward for is complete square minus the area of the quadrant minus the area of the quadrant. So square area is going to be 2 square and area of the quadrant is already equal to pi. I hope it is absolutely clear with everybody. This square is an area 4 unit 2 square and from that I am this square is made up of two things this area this area plus the quadrant area is making up for this square. This square is made up of here two things. If we remove this area, if we remove from the square, this will be left with area B. So this is the value of B and undoubtedly our answer will be 2A plus B. 2A plus 2 of B. So immediately we can arrive at an answer. What will happen if I am adding A and B, this pi, this pi gets cancel out. So A plus B is going to be how much? 4. A plus B is going to be 4 and twice of 4 is going to be 8. Twice of 4 is going to be 8. How simple. And such questions in one way or the other have been asked in multitudes of exam including SSC, bank, including this was a perfect question from gate. Civil engineering for noon. For noon means the morning shift of the civil engineering paper, paper one of the civil engineering. So it had been asked in multitudes of exam. I hope I'm making an absolute sense with everybody. We can generalize this sort of result as well. It will be always equal to twice of R square. You can always write answer twice of R square will be the answer for any such question. Why? I'm going to tell you. A area, A area is going to be one fourth of pi r square. A area is going to be one fourth of pi r square. It is quarter of a circle. This area A, which I'm going to shade in the pink color, red color, whatever you want to call, this area is is nothing but one fourth of pi r square. Central angle is going to be 90 degree. So 90 by 360 into pi r square, one fourth of pi r square is area A is area A and let's see here area B. B is going to be nothing but from the square. From the square if I want to remove one quadrant. From the square if I want to remove one quadrant. So from a square I am removing a quadrant. A square has an area R square. I am assuming radius to be equal to R. So a square has an area R. R square and the quadrant already has an area and the quadrant already has an area which is equal to one fourth of pi r square. And if I add, actually the question is asking me twice a plus b. So if the question is asking me twice of a plus b, that is going to be nothing but a plus b one fourth pi r square, one fourth pi r square. So a plus b is equal to r square and hence a plus b is going to be r square and twice of a plus b is going to be 2r square is answer for any such generalized problem provided the radius have been given to us. Now see you might see this as a question where some mathematical skill was involved. I see it as a purely logical one. We are getting this, this have been shifted over here and same thing this have been shifted area of half the square that is equal to 4 square by 2 that is equal to 8. Let's see. Just hold on and we'll see one more interesting problem based upon it. A call question, dekh lete hai. Ye humare paas hai. You might see this appeared in uh, electrical engineering in same year 2023 and uh, 
you might see both the question as slightly different though i will object to it i have my own reservations about it why this question and this question is exactly the same thing they are believe me they are exactly the same thing if you will believe me here here the radius is going to be 3 unit radius radius is going to be 3 unit so i have already given an answer 2 into radius square 2 into 3 square it's eventually going to be 18 don't worry, I am going to show you in multitudes of way. Bhati bhati ke tariko se, bhin bhin tariko se ise dekh lenge. Bilkul ghabrane ki koi bhi jorat nahi hai yaha pe. Dekhenge, this is a area which is again the area of one quadrant. It is area of one quadrant. It is area of another quadrant. So what I have got here, I will be using a freehand sketch. Kindly excuse me for that. This, this is a one quadrant which is area earlier and which is area of a quadrant and area of the quadrant with the same radius three unit and apart from it if you see this small area it is exactly the same area b which we have seen just couple of minutes back so again our answer is 2a plus b i need not to give you a complete explanation 2a plus b is equal to 2 into r square which is eventually equal to 18 and without solving we can get the answer for this right 18 same thing is happening here same thing is happening here what we are doing we are adding quadrant should i reduce the font size this is one quadrant side size had been changed and here is one 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 square minus square minus quadrant and here we are getting the same thing one quadrant and here we are getting the reverse of it again the same thing two quadrant and two slices which are exactly same as this now i hope this is this is fair enough with everybody without solving we can arrive at the answer of this problem is there. Let me give you one more approach. Once you have started seeing the video, I'm not going to disappoint you. I'm going to show you one more approach. This is a portion. This portion, if I say this, I will draw a straight line here. And what I will try to do, join the edges here. And I'm using a freehand sketch. This side, I'm going to, this, this particular area, I'm going to count color in blue. And this particular area, I'm going to paint in red. So what has happened? This thing is there. Am I right? The blue area is this. Come on guys. The red area is this. Right? We have the blue area with us. We have the red area with us. And if we combine this blue area and the red area, what we are going to get? This is a blue area with us. And this is going to be a red area with us. Dono ko combine karenge. To ye ho gaya hamara blue area. Yaha se a gaya hamara red area. Dono ka milayenge. We are going to get the black area. Which I am going to shade in black color here. Which I am going to completely shade in black color here. Isn't it the same thing? Yes. So actually what is required? This portion had got shifted to here. The blue portion. Red portion had got shifted to here. And हमें क्या मिला? ये leaf का area आ गया है. ऐसा question gate 2021 में भी आया. SSC so many times such a question have been repeated. Guys, such ingenuity of a problem solver is what examiner is actually looking forward for in exam. Ingenuity of a problem solver is what examiner actually looking forward for in exam. This blue area get pasted from here to here. This red area get pasted from here to here. And what we are going to get this complete black area. We are going to get this complete black area. So, your answer is also otherwise bhi hai. Area of half the square. Area of half the square is the answer. The square has side 6 unit. A square with side length of 6 unit is given. The boundary of the shaded region is defined as the two semicircle. Exactly the same question in a in different branch. Same old wine in a new bottle. Right? Same thing is repeated. So area is 18. How can I can say? Ye yaha pe shift ho gaya aur ye yaha pe shift ho gaya. Ise hata dijiye aur ye pura triangle ka area ab hume chahiye. What we want is this complete triangle ka area. We want this complete area. Thoda da figure yaha pe dirty ho gaya anyhow. This area is half the area of this square. 
area of the square is going to be 6 square 36 unit half of that is 18 unit we want only this complete triangle ye yahan aa gaya ye yahan aa gaya ye complete ho gaya hamara triangle ye hamara aa gaya 18 unit without solving we have arrived at the answer for both the questions or other way around you can also say whatever how does not matter how you want to do half of 6 into 6 it's a right triangle and this is the area what we want half of 6 into 6 will again come out to be 18 units no matter how we solve we are going to get the same answer so guys just my final advice to you will be that aap bilkul bhi bilkul bhi wahan pe nervous nahi honge whatever level of preparation you are set into you will just maintain your cool and calm and then you will be logically able to think the things in the exam rather than getting into panic mode and spoiling your exam so it is very important you maintain your cool and calm for those 180 minutes and may dizzy wishes you all the best may you always rise higher shine brighter thank you so much good luck for all your endeavors